<clears throat> hello class. Hello, hello. How are you? Good evening. Sarita, hello. Uh, are you evening. having are you having problems with your audio? I'm here. Uh, okay. oyente, I got traffic ugly. Oh, really? It is chaotic. And yes. tomorrow is going to be worse. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write that by now you're going to be a listener. Yeah. And later you're going to get Thanks. connected. Okay, great. Tania, welcome. Diane, Diana Barahona. Hey, Diana Barahona, listener too. Huh? I know. Uh, Eliel, hello, welcome. A little time, Miss. A little time. Okay, great. Alexis, welcome. Francisco Ernesto, Pablo. Hey, Diana. Yes, I'm going to stay here. Okay, here we go, class. Let's get it started. Welcome, everyone. I am so glad that all of you are here. Eliel. Good yeah. evening, teacher. Good evening, Tania. Good evening, everyone. Are you here, class, or am I alone? Uh, I'm here, but, but mm -hmm. I am eating. Ah, okay, right having dinner. I'm sorry. Great. Okay, yes. while you finish uh, having dinner class, I'm going to share with you my PPT, okay? And we're going to have a feedback. So enjoy your food. And so chill, welcome, Pablo, great. Thank you for activating the camera. And here we go, class, good evening. Thanks for joining. Today is our class number six, our video conference number six. And here we go. Okay. Today is May 9th, correct? And it is, mm, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, but it was not possible. Okay. So, um, as I was telling you, today is our class number six, and it is our video conference number six. So, we're going, uh, well, I began with activity number one, greetings, <clears throat> our feedback, review of what we did yesterday. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. Uh, you're going to be naming some activities and you are going to be describing activities and events in the workplace and other environments. And in order to do that, you're going to describe activities, events in the workplace and other environments. For example, tomorrow with some places, uh, <clears throat> many people celebrate the Mother's Day, the ones who work. Because remember, tomorrow is a national holiday. Most of the companies, especially the people who work in the government and they don't work in many others. But people who work in um, some places, it is an event that they celebrate for the mothers. Okay, so that is one of the activities that you can mention. And the objectives are here, the specific objective and the class objective. I don't know if one of you would like to help me reading these objectives. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, a specific objective. Participants will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environment. Last objective, participants will be able to identify and use adverbs of frequency. Excellent, very well, adverbs of frequency. Some of the adverbs of frequency, remember, always, often, sometimes, never, rarely, hardly ever, usually, okay? Those are the ones. And here again, my reminder class, okay? Every single day I'm going to be reading this because I need you to work as much as possible on the platform. Tareas y evaluaciones. Recordemos, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Bueno, y acá tenemos ya a Liel disponible because he has energy. Entonces nos va a ayudar a continuar leyendo sobre las tareas y evaluaciones desde el segundo bullet. Okay, continue reading from the second okay. bullet over here. Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, dice, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. 
Tercero, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Cuatro, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio es antes de la medianoche. Cinco, la fecha límite para terminar el examen final, el final exam, es un día antes de la medianoche. Y sexto, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, thank you so much. Dicho esto, espero que hayan continuado trabajando ayer y que ahora continúen trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para que avancen lo más posible, para que el día viernes ya tengamos la unidad 2 terminada, si es posible. Ok, so you have your weekend off. Así tienen el fin de semana libre. Okay, and here the requirements. Another participant to help me reading the requirements in Spanish. Otro participante que nos ayude a leer los requerimientos. I only have to. Yes. Okay, Tulio, thank you. Requerimientos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible y la participación activa. Ok, muy bien. Active participation whenever you are in the breakout rooms and in the main session room, like right now. And especially this one, camera on, la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Mm. Acá tenemos la asistencia requerida al 100% de las clases, cumplir con los 120 minutos clase, porque así se genera la asistencia efectiva por cada sesión. Recuerden que son dos horas, pero son dos horas reloj, es decir, 120 minutos. Recordándoles que la asistencia la tomamos en dos ocasiones, mínimo a las 8 y 20 y aproximadamente a las 8.40. Se les indica que se tomará como válida la asistencia al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. Al final, la sesión uno a uno está disponible. En esto, cada participante será asignado mínimo 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con mi persona. O tenemos una sesión de repaso, ¿verdad? Y los permisos no están disponibles porque yo no estoy autorizada para darle permiso a faltar a clases a nadie en absoluto, tampoco la administración. Lo que ellos hacen es que toman nota de lo que usted reporta, motivo de su ausencia, y así se reporta en SAFOR para que ellos consideren de acuerdo. Y seguimos. Vía Zoom tenemos el botón de silencio mientras los demás hablan o participan para que no tengamos problemas. Cámaras encendidas, los dos chats disponibles, los breakout rooms también disponibles. The bottom to ask for help, available, cuando necesitan ayuda extra. Yo estoy monitoreando su equipo, usted lo presiona ahí. Yo me <coughs> traslado a su grupo. Y el respeto ante todo, como lo han hecho desde el día que nos hemos estado reuniendo desde el primer día, ¿de acuerdo? Thank you so much for that. And here, ¿verdad? Tenemos ya la semana 2, del 9 al 16 de mayo. Por lo tanto, eh, tenemos que comenzar ya a trabajar en la semana 2. Y hay quienes me deben todavía la semana 1. No, 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 no. That's not possible. So let's go over the feedback. Y ahora vamos con el repaso de lo que trabajamos ayer. Do you remember class that yesterday we were working with countable and uncountable nouns? And the expressions how much and how many. Let's remember, students, that we use how much with uncountable nouns. In countable nouns, you ask with how many. For example, <clears throat> how many sisters do you have? How many brothers do you have? Because you can count your brothers or sisters. <clears throat> or if I say, how many rooms does your house have? ¿Cuántas habitaciones tiene tu casa? <clears throat> but if I say, how much sugar do you put in your coffee? ¿Cuánta azúcar le pones? Because it is uncountable. You may say a lot. Or nothing, no le pongo nada. Or three spoons, tres cucharadas, ¿ya? Yeah? And then that is the feedback for how much and how many. 
And yesterday we had a general feedback on simple present tense. You were working on the completion of these sentences, right? And we were discussing it. Also, class, we were working with this yes, no questions in simple present, yeah? You were interviewing your classmates in the breakout rooms, yeah? Okay, and that is basically what we did yesterday and one of your partners stayed with me after class for the one-on-one -on -one session. And now, here we go. Ah, okay, here. I have some questions for you guys. Get ready. <clears throat> Miss Fatima, Miss Fatima Martinez, uh, how often do you, how often, how often do you take out? Okay, Fatima, listen to my question. How often do you take out your mother? How often do you take out your mother? Con qué frecuencia saca a su mamá? You are on the street. Okay. Okay. On weekends. Miss, are you having a party? Okay. On weekends. <laughs> I go to my house. Okay, great. You are commuting. You are commuting. But you said on the weekend. Okay. Oh, okay, Miss. Thank you. You are traveling. You are on your way to your house. But you said that you take out your mother on the weekends, yeah? Because how often? And here, um, okay, thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Okay, now I have a question for, let me see, um, Pablo. Pablo, how often do you take your children to the park? How often do you take your children to the park? ¿Con qué frecuencia lleva sus niños al parque? ¿Tú? No, but how often, ¿con qué frecuencia lleva sus niños al parque? ¿Cuántas veces? ¿A la semana, al mes, al año? ¿Or never? Never. ¿Nunca los lleva al parque? Los están grandes de... <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. I thought that you had little children. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Pero de eso se trata el tema. How often, con qué frecuencia o qué tan a menudo realizamos ciertas actividades, okay? So here we go and let's get started. Uh, where is the man? Over here. Okay, great. Welcome to unit number one. Okay, here we go. I will be able to say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Yeah, that is the purpose. And then we have these questions. How often do you check your email at work and how often do you attend meetings? Okay, so you are going to be asking and answering these questions. Yeah, if I say, <clears throat> for example, uh, Alexis, how often do you check your email at work? Uh, never check my email. Okay. And the other question, how often do you attend meetings goes to, let me see. Um, funny. How often? Okay. Hi. Good evening. Miss, how often do you attend meetings? ¿Con qué frecuencia asistes a reuniones? Uh, never, teacher. You never have meetings? Okay. No. Okay, great. <clears throat> so here, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have John and Anne, okay? Um, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, cada dos horas, every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week, once, once a week. On Monday, 
but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right, okay? One more time. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, now I need two participants to practice this conversation before we go to the practice in the breakout rooms. Okay, two participants, two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, and the other participant. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's begin. Alexis, you begin. Okay. Uh, how often do you check your mail? Every day to hers and you? Well, I try to check it as uh, often as I can. How often do you call your, do your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call, call them on Friday to check their order, they order, do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. right. You are right. Okay, right. let's remember. How often, usually, always, once a week, once a week, clients, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Hours, the H is not pronounced. Hours, every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, Monday, but I usually call them on Friday, Friday, check to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, listen, uh, somebody had a question? ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta? Vi que alguien levantó la mano o quería participar en la conversation. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, yo, yo quería participar en la... En la conversación. Ok. Ok, sí. muy bien. Ok, José, ya vamos. Solamente le voy a dar un refuerzo en esto. Ok. Ooh, capital letter, where is it? Okay, here. First day. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Okay, class. So here we have, okay, I'm going to, Put them over here, yeah? Okay, it's better over here. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, you don't pronounce D, you don't pronounce letter E, okay? You don't pronounce letter E. Wednesday, only this the E. Wednesday until S. W E S D A Y. Wednesday and N. Thursday, Friday, not Friday, no, no, no. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? And now we continue with the practice. And we have Josue. Josue is going to read John. And I need another participant. Me, teacher. Okay, Oscar, you're going to continue with the conversation. Begin, Josue. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you go? I often call team once a week on Monday, but I usually call team on Friday to shake the order. Do you call clients? You are right. Okay, uh, Josue is having some internet problems, yeah? Okay, class, very well. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You are going to practice this conversation and you switch roles. This is one activity. The second activity is this, okay? Um, you are going to discuss the answers to the questions below. Based on this, on the information that we have in this conversation, you are going to answer these two questions, okay? But number one is in here. And why is it important to check the email every day? You may have it in here, or you may create the answer according to the reality. Is that okay? Yes? And remember, class, we are working at page 19, okay? But right now, I'm going to call your names because it is time for your attendance. So here we go. Let's see. Brandon Alexis. Hi, teacher. Present. Okay. Thank you, Cecilia Unice. Absent, Cecilia, at this moment. Daniel Eduardo. Eduardo. Daniel Eduardo Bonilla. Absent. Diana Michelle. Based on this information, we have a conversation that we want to be so questioned. But number one is here. Diana. And why is it important You may have it here or you may have it here. Yes, me, I'm here. Okay, thank you, Diana. Erika, Erika Lisa. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Fanny. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Uh, Fatima. Hey, Fatima lost the connectivity because she was traveling by bus, right? Francisco Antonio Coreas. Present, Miss. Thank you.
And Fanny, where is Fanny? Ah, she's here. Okay. Francisco Ernesto Gonzalez. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn, Beatriz. Josie, not yet. Eliel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Francisco Mejia. Jose Francisco Mejia absent at the moment. Uh, Josue Isaac. Josue, are you here or lost the connectivity? Luis Benjamín, Mayra Isabel, Oscar Daniel Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Pablo. Pablo Adalberto. Thank you. Sarita. Sarita lost the connectivity because she Present. was ah, here. Ah, you're back. Okay. Thank okay. you, Miss. Tania. Tania Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Tania. Tania, yesterday you were absent, right? Mm -hmm. Teresa de Jesús. Mm -hmm. Teresa Present de Jesús. Teacher. Okay, I was astonished because I said, oh my God, it is the first time she's going to be absent. Xochitl. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Tulio. Present, present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, class. You have the conversation. You're going to be practicing right now in your manual. And, um, okay, it is at page 19. You switch roles and later you give an answer to the two questions. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to ask the platform in order to create the groups. Okay, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Open your eyes big so you see the invitation. Okay, go to your groups and begin working, please. Go to your groups and begin working. Sarita, we need you in group number one. Pablo, we need you in group number two. Oscar Portillo, we need you in group number three. Teresa de Jesus, we need you in group number three. Fatima, if it is possible, join group number four, please, okay? Oscar, go to group number three. Oscar. Oscar Portillo, go to group number three. Sarita. Sarita, I need you. Okay. In group number three. No. Teresa de Jesus goes to group number three. Remember, I need you to join your groups. Otherwise, you are not going to get your minutes of attendance. Tienen que unirse. De lo contrario, pierden los minutos de conexión. De la asistencia. Your email. Every two hours. And you. Uh, what I'm trying to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call the, your clients? I often call the own homes. In week on Monday, Monday. but um, I usually call the office to check the order 
And do you call client? Yes, I'm always called the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are really. You are right. Once a week. Once a week. Okay. You are. You are right. You are right. 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 Yeah. You right. are right. And once a week. Once a week. Okay. Continue practicing with Tulio. And remember to switch roles. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Quieren you. practicará conmigo. Yo, usted se inició en este okay. momento, ¿verdad? Right. Ah, sí. Ok. Ok, Pablo. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call to your clients? I often call him once a week on Monday, but I usually call him on Friday. To check the order, do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Um, ahora puedo de nuevo con Francisco. Y tú okay. inicias, Francisco. Yo inicio. Eh, yes. yo, inicio, yo, inicio, yo inicio o otra vez inicio yo. Sí, o inicio yo. Voy a iniciar. Bueno. Ok. How often do you check your email? Every day, two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call two clients? I of call. The once a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. Uh, you are right. You are right. Okay. Eh, ¿Puedes de nuevo iniciar con Pablo? ¿O Pablo inicia usted? Ok. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I also call, call client, call, call ten once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to clear, to, to check their order to your client. Yes, and I will call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's uh, important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. okay. Perfecto. Ahora puedes iniciar, Francisco. Ahora sí. Ok. How often you check your email? Ya terminaron la práctica, chicas. Fanny eh, y, 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 y Josué. Ay, ay, mi, y Alexis. Ya terminaron la práctica. Eh, no, 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 es que estaba, estaba hablando a Fanny, pero no me contestaron. Ah, vaya, entonces acá está Josué. En este momento veo que tiene buena la conexión. Entonces comience a practicar con Josué la conversación. Ok. Ahorita, ahorita practico con él. Ok. ¿Ya? Hola, hola, Josué. El micrófono, Josué, actívelo. Lo tiene apagado. 
Hola. Ok, vaya, empecemos aprovechando que tiene la conexión. Buenas, Josué. Okay. Vamos eh, a leer la conversación. La que, la, 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 la. Hola. ¿Cuál sería la conversación? La misma que estábamos con, eh, practicando, ok, al inicio de la clase. Usted inicia, ver, Josué. Claro. Ok. Bueno, excelente, excelente. Bueno, ahorita la estaba buscando. Sí. Al final, eh, yo considero que, eh, que sí es del trabajo. ¿no? Porque... Sí, sí es del, creería que es del trabajo. Vaya, entonces, ¿cuál sería tu respuesta ahí para ver si o, armamos una respuesta para ver si la podemos traducir después? Sí, sí. Entonces, eh, primero que sí es importante, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es importante. Tiene que, tiene que justificar por qué es importante, ¿ok? Ajá. Sí, sí, sí. Es importante. Bueno, como te decía, porque me permite estar eh, actualizado con los requerimientos de trabajo. Estamos hablando del correo de trabajo, okay. no del personal. Teacher, eh, de, ¿cómo se dice actualizado? Updated, updated. Up, available. No, updated. Ok, se lo voy a escribir en el chat de acá. Por favor. Ok, thank you. Updated, actualizado, así como las actualizaciones de, de cualquier plataforma. Ya lo compartí ahí en el chat de Zoom. Updated. Ok. Ah, oh, perfecto. Ah, sí. Update. Okay. Update. 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 Ah, ok. Eh, nos permite. Bueno, esa es mi, mi, mi respuesta, ahora no sé. Ah, bueno, aquí está la de Fátima. Oh, es Fátima. Fátima les escribió en el chat. Sí, aquí vi, ya escribió Fátima en el chat. It's important in my class because... Did you finish practicing the conversation, people? Sí, ya, yes, ya practicamos todo. Did you sí. answer the questions? ¿Contestaron las dos preguntas? No. Okay, no. answer the two questions. Because uh, you have to justify. In number two, you need to write the justification. En la número dos, tienen que justificar la respuesta. Okay? Two questions to answer. Okay. Two hours, thank you. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but um, usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes. I always call their first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. <laughs> no salió muy bien esta vez. Okay, okay. So may I interrupt you? Uh, Francisco. Dígame. Repeat after me. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. First day. Friday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Okay, thank you. Continue. 
continue with your okay. activity, please. Okay, bye. Okay. Otra vez lo mismo. Eh, ya, ya, contesta, ya contestaron las preguntas. La eh, pregunta. En eso estamos. Ah, ok, great. 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 Recuerden que okay. en number two you have to give a reason, a justification. En la número dos tienen que escribir una justificación, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Did you finish the practice? Oscar, Alexis, Fanny? Uh, este, como curso chicas, igual siempre había problemas. Hasta creo que se salió. No tenía buena señal. Pero aquí está Oscar Portillo de regreso. Eh, Tiene que contestar las dos preguntas. Oscar Portillo, are you available? Yes. Ok, practique con Oscar, Alexis. I need to listen to you. Ok, teacher. Uh, how often does Anne check her email? Every two hours. And you? Uh, once uh, a week. And what is it important to check the email every day? Because, uh, because we are the important message and, and why is it important to check the email every day? Uh, because it is a mail means that allow you to communicate with all the members of a company and that makes it easier for us to send important word information. Okay. Um, okay. Um, John, John, you? Okay, okay, perfect. I start. How often do you check your email? Every two, uh, every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first thing in the in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, again. Okay. Uh, yeah. How how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You, you're right. Okay. Now you have to answer the two questions. Perfect. Okay. okay. How often does Anne check your email? I check my email one or two twice. No, 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 no. It is how often does Anne check Anne. her email? Not once a week. Anne, her email. Uh, once a week. week. Uh, once every two hours and you. Every two every hours. Two, every two, two hours. hours. Cada cuánto revisa Ana el email. Mm. Ah, yeah. Every two hours. Son preguntas de la conversación. 
Yeah, number one, yes. Uh -huh. uh, every, every two hours. Okay. Uh, why is it important to check the email every day? Uh, it's important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. With the clients all the time. With the clients all the time. Okay. Uh, my answer uh, because it is a mail that allows us to communicate with and the member of a company and that makes it easier for you to send important worded information. Okay, Oscar, please repeat after me, answer. Ans answer. Okay. Again, please. Answer. Answer. The W is not pronounced, no. Answer. Repeat, answer. answer. Answer very well. Answer. Answer. Ex that's it. Very well. Okay, thank you. Now teacher. let's get back to the main session room, okay? Okay. Here we go. Now let's compare the answers, okay, to the questions. Let's compare the answers to the questions. And here we go. Remember, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I, but I, this T sounds as a letter R. But I, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Now here, tell me your answers for these questions. How often does Anne check her email? Tell me the answer, class. Uh, Anne check her email every two hours. Every two hours. Very well. Now, question number two. Why is it? Why is it? No, why is it? No, why is it? Why is it? The three words together. Why is it? Why is it important to check the email every day? The answer is there are many reasons. Okay, so you may say it is important. Because, yes, because, tell me the reasons why it is important, because, because it is the uh, job um, communication means es el medio de comunicación del trabajo. Yes? 
That is the main reason, okay? Now let's continue. And here we have how to use the frequency adverbs. Use the frequent, these words are called frequency adverbs. Estas palabras son llamadas o les llamamos adverbios de frecuencia porque nos indica con qué frecuencia ejecutamos, realizamos o desarrollamos una acción. Tienen un porcentaje cada una y así es como los vamos a utilizar. Tenemos los opuestos, always, toda la vida, siempre. Siempre significa always. 100%. Never, zero, nothing. Never, ya sabemos que nada en absoluto, ¿verdad? 0%. Usually, 90%. Normally, 80%. Often, 70%. Sometimes, 50%. Occasionally, 30%. Seldom, 10%. Hardly ever, 5%. Rarely, 5%. Never, 0%. Notice that hardly ever and rarely are kind of synonyms. They are at the same level, the same percentage, 5%. Some examples are, I always get up at 5 o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. Quiere decir que raras veces tomamos llamadas en el trabajo. Personales, ¿sí? Y hay quienes nunca. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Because there is a consequence, you get the discount. Entonces... Tenemos estos adverbios con su respectivo porcentaje de frecuencia. Esta es una clasificación. Hay otros grammarians, hay otros especialistas y en otros libros pueden encontrar un poquito más de eh, adverbios. Por ejemplo, normally or generally. En algunos van a encontrar eso, pero con la misma frecuencia y así sucesivamente. ¿okay? Pero en este caso vamos a considerar estos porcentajes y estos adverbios. So here I have to ask you, do you have any question about this? Tienen preguntas sobre este tema, los adverbios de frecuencia. No, todo claro, no, no. seguro, vaya. Entonces ya me van a demostrar que no hay problema. Ok. Uh, no. Solo le voy a pedir. Yes, tell me. El y el. Uh, I don't know if you uh, can just picture for whatsapp ah do you want me to, to take a picture of this and share it via whatsapp yes, yes? ok si sí, ya yes. se los comparto correcto muy bien solo que please repeat after me class always always, always. always. usually usually, usually. usually. Normally. Normally. normally 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Rarely. 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 Never. 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 Okay. And then here, repeat after me. I always get up at five o'clock. I always, I always, get, up always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. He, he usually, usually drives to work. to work. She normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. email. I often have breakfast at work. I She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. We seldom take calls at work. 
He rarely has conferences. He really he has, has conferences. conferences. I never get late to work. I, I never, never get late, late, to, late, late to, work. to work. Okay, yes. so yes, I'm going to share the screenshot with you, class. Share. Sure. Via WhatsApp, yes. Tell me. Pudiera la de normalmente. Este, sentí que es un poquito complicado. Ocasionarlo ocasionalmente. ¿Qué cosa? Sometimes. La oración de ocasionalmente pudiera repetir. Sí, permítame, solamente que me han pedido que les, que les comparta la imagen. Ok. Que les comparta la imagen. Teacher, ¿qué es microwaves? Microwave, el wave microondas, wave. el horno microondas. Ah. Okay, ya vamos, ya vamos. Solo les comparto esto que me han pedido, ¿ok? La vía WhatsApp. Ya les comparto la imagen. Microwave. Microwave, el microwave oven, el microwave. horno microondas. Vaya, escucha. Um, here, acá vamos pues. <coughs> Always, usually, normally. Often. No, often, uh, usually, uh, we don't say often. We say often in America. Often. Listen, we say in America, American English, we say often. But you may often. say often in Europe. Okay? In Europa, we we'll decir often. Pero en, en América decimos often. Las dos están correctas. Often. Yes, pero nosotros usualmente decimos often. Sometimes. Uh, occasionally. Occasional. Occasionally. Como ok. Occasionally. Seldom. Seldom. Hardly ever. Rarely, rarely. Estos dos casi nunca. Seldom, pocas veces. Hardly ever, casi nunca. Rarely, están en la misma categoría, casi nunca. Never, nunca. And then here you have some routines or events that happen. I always get up at five o'clock. You say, I always get up at three o'clock. I always get up at four o'clock. He usually drives to work. I usually take the bus to work. I usually drive to work, okay? Um, she normally checks her email. And then I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime, tiempo extra, horas extras. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Nunca, pero nunca llego tarde al trabajo. Okay? And here, it is your turn. Complete a list of your activities do, you do in a regular week. Acá me van a completar esto con actividades que ustedes hacen en una semana normal en el trabajo. Then write the activities next to the word that best describe how often you do it. Primero creamos una lista de las actividades que hacen en una semana Normal, ¿verdad? For example, let's see here. I'm going to write here my list. And then teach classes. This is my example, okay? Teach classes, uh, prepare classes, uh, prepare evaluations. Okay, for example. And then, cuando ya tengo mi lista de actividades, empiezo. I always, algo que siempre hago. And then I always, and I write here, I always. Always. I always teach classes. Algo que hago a menudo. I often uh, prepare evaluations. This is my examples, okay? Sometimes, lo que hago algunas veces que es ahí por el 50%. Uh, veamos. 
teach classes, prepare classes, prepare evaluations. Aquí sería como el, el 50%, quiero ver, teach classes, es siempre. Often, prepare evaluations. Mm, pero quizá voy a pasar esta para acá, porque es con menos frecuencia. Pero, prepare classes every day. Prepare classes. Está Teacher, en I have a question. Yes, sir. Eh, todas las oraciones siempre deben iniciar este, con yo. Sí, o porque sea, se trata sobre... de usted, de usted. En este caso, el ejercicio es sobre usted. ¿Qué nos dice? Uh -huh. Your turn, tu turno ahora de describir tu rutina. Porque acá ya de describimos la rutina mía, de él uh -huh. y de ella y de nosotros. Ahora uh -huh. es tu turno completa una lista de las actividades que tú haces en una semana regular, por eso escribí mi rutina, cada quien tiene que escribir las actividades que hace en la semana en el trabajo okay. y luego, vaya, cuando ya tienen ustedes la lista, por eso les escribí yo como example, acá mi lista, ¿verdad? Esta es mi pequeña lista como ejemplo cuando tú ya has completado esa lista de tus actividades, your duties at work, duties at work, tus actividades en, en el trabajo, entonces vas a completar esto. Then write the activities next to the work that, that best describes how often you do those activities. Luego, escribe las actividades cerca de la palabra que mejor describe la frecuencia con la que realizas esas actividades. Por eso es el cambio. Yo siempre doy clases. Yo a menudo preparo clases. Yo algunas veces preparo evaluaciones porque no lo hago todos los días, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces esa es mi rutina, por eso tiene que comenzar con ay, porque acá se lo están dando, no lo está escribiendo usted, ¿sí? Okay. Porque es su rutina. Gracias por la pregunta. ¿Ok? ¿Comprendimos clase? Yes. yes. Ok, English very well. Teacher. Now Gracias. you work Ok. Uh, no, no, porque, no porque iba en Never iba a poner My Boss is Never Grown. No, eso es después. <risa> después ah, describimos okay. la rutina o eventos de alguien más. Ok, en este momento comenzamos por nosotros. Y luego podemos ya describir la, la porque ya usaríamos okay. el presente simple en tercera persona del singular. ¿De acuerdo? Cuando decimos acá, mire, he rarely has conferences. No es have sino que es has porque la tercera persona del singular es él, el, el sujeto, ¿ok? Entonces es más fácil así. Primero preparan la lista y luego con estos adverbios, algo que tú siempre haces, que haces a menudo, que haces algunas veces, que casi nunca haces y algo que nunca haces. Por ejemplo, here, I never uh, do the cleaning. Do the cleaning at work. Nunca hago la limpieza en el trabajo, ¿verdad? No es esa mi función, ¿ya? I hardly ever, I hardly ever, what? Algo que casi nunca hago en el trabajo. I hardly ever have breakfast at work. Casi nunca, bien raro, muy rarísimo que desayuno en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Por la naturaleza de mi trabajo, ¿sí? Y ahí completan ustedes, ¿sí? Con sus actividades. Y les voy a poner acá los porcentajes, ¿de acuerdo? Aquí les dejo los porcentajes para que se les facilite, ¿ok? I think that five minutes are ok, yes or no. When you finish Miss, writing, yes. Miss, a question. Uh, hardly, ¿qué es? Hardly ever and rarely, casi nunca. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Ah. Sí, porque está, mire, bien cerca de never. Es decir, en un porcentaje sería un 5%, ah, casi okay. nunca se hace. Y okay. never es el que está más cerquita de never. Es ¿no? nunca. Ajá. Así es. Ah, y por okay. eso sería casi nunca. Casi nunca, ok. Seldom, rara veces. Seldom, uh. rara veces. Pero es más frecuente que hardly ever o rarely. Ah, okay. okay. Gracias. Okay, my pleasure. When you finish writing your uh, your activities and writing also your sentences, okay, you let me know so we can share. 
Me avisan para que compartamos. Ok. Ok. Teacher finish. Hello. Great, Miss. Fabulous. Excellent. Thank you. Sí, se las voy a decir. Me corrige si estoy Okay, okay, Erika. I'm always get early to work. I'm of, often called with clients. I'm talk, sometimes. Talk, talk. Okay, I uh -huh. often talk. Ah, okay. Sí, habla con los talk. clientes, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Talk Así with clients. Talk with clients. I'm sometimes write report. I'm hardly ever have meetings. I never use my cell phone in the in my work. Okay, very well. Excellent, Erica. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. I finished the show. Okay, read yours, Eliel. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I always get up at 5.30 a.m. I often have a breakfast at work. I sometimes have not lunch at work. And I hardly ever help to technical area. And I never have dinner at work. Thank you, very well done, great. Let's wait for the others to finish. Finish, miss. Read your sentences, please. Okay. I always call potential clients. Yes. I often send, I often send reports. Sometimes I have prefax at work. I hardly ever clean at work. I never late to work. I am never, I am never late okay, to work. I am never late to work. Very okay, well. Thank you, miss. Excellent. Next one, another participant class. Who is done? Who finished building the sentences about your routines? Finish. Okay, read your sentences, please, Josue. Okay, I always drive to work. I often prepare the truck. Uh, I sometimes breakfast in the work. I hardly ever do the cleaning at work. Uh, I never check my email in the work. Okay, thank you very well. I finished. Okay, Miss Sarita, go ahead. I always uh, receive, res receive the students every morning. I often play with the children. I sometimes take the, take the kids to swimming lessons. I hardly ever prepare classes. I never send reports. I never send reports. Excellent, Sarita. Very well. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Another student who finished? Finished, teacher. Okay, Tulio, we are all ears for you. A ver si me sale la pronunciación. Mm -hmm. Este, I always go to work at a a m eh, la otra es eh, i often eh, always do your journalistic reports excuse me say it again eh, eh, vuelvo a repetir i often i often ah often ajá ajá eh, journalistic reports 
es como reportes periodísticos. Sí, pero ¿qué hace? ¿Hay off en qué? Es notas periodísticas. Pero, Yo pero, casi siempre hago. ¿El, ¿El verbo que ha usado en esa oración cuál es, Julio? Reports. No. Esos son no. reportes. Porque si usted ah, sí, me dice... Ah, ah, es, que, es que el do, o oh, olvidé el do. Ajá. I always write. Often do. I often write. Porque los reportes se escriben. No, pero es que los míos son noticias, no es, es escribir reportes, son notas periodísticas. Por eso, pero ¿cómo las hace? ¿Orales o...? o, o... Orales, a veces eh, presentándolas, o sea, grabando con un micrófono en la cámara y, y tengo que hacer una nota periodística en algún ah, lugar. Ah, no sé. entonces create reports, porque usted los crea, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Bravo. Bravo. La otra es... Ajá. Sometimes, uh, I sometimes record commercials. Ok. No sé cómo well. se pronuncia. No, that's uh -huh. okay. You may say commercials or advertisements. I'm going to write okay. it here, ok? Rarely, ¿cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Ok, rarely, rarely, rarely. Rarely. Yes, yes, I, I rarely do cleaning in my uh -huh. office. I rarely do the cleaning in my office. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here, I Tulio, never... you, Tulio, you have here the word advertisements, anuncios, o comerciales, mm -hmm. advertisements. Ah, sí se escribe. Ah, sí se escribe. Uh -huh. Yes, advertisements. Okay. Okay, continue. Voy a tomar en cuenta porque me okay. va a servir. Great, continue. <laughs> Y la otra es, I never had lunch on time. Really? Oh, I know. Okay, <laughs> I never have lunch oh, on time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo creo que muchos de nosotros. Yes, that's it. Especially because of the chaotic traffic that we have in our city or in our country. Thank you so much, Tulio. I would like to listen to someone else. Me gustaría escuchar a alguien más. Me teacher. Ok. I always take a shower. I often run into work. At some time, uh, I sometimes watch TV. I hardly ever go out with my friends. Yes. I never miss my work. Excellent. Well done. Someone else? Hello. No, Bariels. Y los demás no terminaron las actividades. Eh, miren, exercise five. Share the activities you have with three classes. En equipo las tienen que compartir. Acá está la actividad seis. Cinco, perdón. Yes, uh, Pablo. I always arrive early to work. I often provide a report. I sometimes visit the field floor. Uh, I hardly use a uh, printer. Okay. I never clean at work. Very well. Excellent. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Now, class, because I don't know why you are so shy that you don't want to read your sentences, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you read and share your sentences with your partners. Because that is activity number five in your manual, okay? Don't be shy and practice. So here we go. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups. And begin reading your sentences. Oscar. 
go to group number three. Tulio, go to group number three. Miss Fatima, go to group number four. Okay, class, we're going to be waiting for you. I'm often talk with clients. I'm sometimes write report. I'm hardly ever had meeting. I never use my cell phone in the work. Okay. Tania Ribos. Ay, ay, ay. No, pero vale, voy, a, voy a leer las que tengo porque no las tengo completas. Okay. I always do, do to work at night I am. Um, normally you have lunch at 1 p.m. Wealthy uh, make reports. So, so, como es? Summer, summer time? Sometimes. 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 Work. I often prepare a report. I sometimes visit the first floor. Floor, perdón. Uh, um, I use a printer. I sometimes watch TV. I hardly ever go out with my friends and I never miss in my work. And the other parties, the other participants, they are, they read. Ya leyeron los otros participantes. Alexis y Fanny ya participaron. Ok. Fanny. Did you finish reading your sentences, class? Francisco Ernesto, Aneliel, yes. Yes, solo falta Fatima, pero yes. no quiero que le permitieran okay. un minuto. Ah, I, pero I Fatima. Always... <laughs> I always check my email. I often contact clients. I sometimes arrive late to work. Uh, I hardly ever take a breakfast at work. And I never... Um, <coughs> that's only... Solo esa me faltó, teacher. Something that you never do at work. I never cook at work, for example. I never cook at work. Ah, yeah, it's something that you never do. <laughs> or I never, Sometimes I never. I have to do that. Uh-huh, some people do it, yes. Or I never prepare food at work, but some people, they take the stuff, the sandwiches, you know, they prepare the sandwiches at work, okay? Thank you, let's return. Thank you for your active participation. Time to return. Okay, let's wait for the other partners because we're going to prepare an interview. Vamos a preparar una entrevista. Qué trabajo, una entrevista. Let's see, if do I have someone else? Okay. 
Very well, class. Thanks for your active participation. And uh, we continue right now. Okay, <clears throat> ongoing activities at the workplace. Here, add more questions on your own, then interview three different classmates. You have to create questions. For example, how often do you have meetings? Todas van a comenzar con how often do you, con qué frecuencia o qué tan a menudo y la actividad en este caso. How often do you have meetings? Con qué frecuencia tienes reuniones? I would say, how often uh, do you write reports? That could be another question. And here, how often do you, let me see, uh, do you visit clients? How often do you, for example, uh, buy raw materials? Uh, how often do you uh, receive uh, bonuses? Receive a bonus? <laughs> <laughs> or how often you use your imagination but these are mine, okay, you write yours ustedes escriben la de ustedes porque luego Peter, I write similar to cuando ustedes tienen, cuando, cuando ustedes tienen fíjense bien eh, sus preguntas van a entrevistar a tres compañeros y aquí van a escribir por ejemplo a uh, Fátima because, ok, Fátima and then I ask, hey, Fatima, how often do you have meetings? One a week. Once a week. Once a week. Y escribo la respuesta de ella. Sí. Um, if I say, Eliel, how often do you have meetings? Uh, every Wednesday. So once a week. Porque como es una vez a yes. la semana, ¿verdad? Once a week. Y aquí escriben el nombre de otro compañero o compañera que va a estar con ustedes en el breakout room. Y, pues, ¿verdad? Él le hacen la misma pregunta. Acaban escribiendo todas las mismas preguntas le hacen. Pero cada quien debe tener diferentes preguntas, ¿sí? No van a decir, um, por ejemplo, Fátima, how often do you have meetings? Y ella me contesta, Tulio. Y ya ni digo la pregunta, sino que él solo la respuesta y así no tiene que practicar asking the questions orally and answering orally too. ¿Ok? Y ahí vean, hay tantas actividades, por ejemplo, de acá pueden tomar algunas. How often do you have breakfast at work? How often do you use, do you use the microwave? How often do you work overtime? How often do you take calls at work? I never, in my case, I never take calls at work. Porque no es mi función tomar llamadas. <clears throat> How often do you get late to work? How often do you drive to work? How often do you get up at uh, 7 o'clock? ¿A con qué frecuencia te levantas a las 7 de la mañana? Once a week, solo el domingo puede decir alguien, or twice a week. Dos veces a la semana, Saturday and Sunday. Y así, ¿verdad? Acá tienen algunas actividades. Or, also here. <clears throat> How often do you check orders? How often do you call clients? How often do you check your email? Yes. How often do you drink coffee at work? Misa questions. Yes. Y aquí donde dice name, name. ¿Qué vamos a poner? Eh, ahí todavía no, porque ahí cuando ah. vayan a los breakout rooms es que van a entrevistar a los compañeros, así como yo escribí aquí los nombres de los compañeros. Ah. Va a escribir, you are going to write the names of your victims. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. escribir el okay. nombre de las víctimas. Ok. <risa> yeah. Thank you. So when you are done, you tell me, ok? So we can go to the breakout rooms and then you start. How many questions? 
the ones that we have in here, the spaces. So it is one, five because you have one done. Cinco porque ya tienen una hecha. Okay. Miss, I finish. <laughs> Excellent. Very well. Let's wait for the others. Okay. Two more minutes. Finish. Finished. Excellent. Me too. Finish t-shirt. Great. We are, we are going to wait one more minute so the others finish. And then everybody gets ready for interviewing the partners. Are you ready, class? All of you finished building your sentences, your interview? Yes? <clears throat> okay. ¿Ya terminaron de escribir las preguntitas? Now it's time to be transferred and you choose your victims. But let me see. Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation. Go to your groups and interview the partners. I expect that the questions are different, okay? Espero que las preguntas sean diferentes. I need Tania in group number three. I need Diana Barahona go to group number two. And I need Tulio in group number one, please. Tulio go to group number one and Tania go to group number three. Sorry, teacher, no había terminado, boy. Ah, okay, great. Tulio go to your group. Hi. Hello. Here you are Francisco, Fanny, Tulio, and Pablo, okay? Okay. Begin with the interviews. Comience con las entrevistas. And I said, huh? I never. 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 Okay. Never in the life. Oh, mire, mire todos qué lindos lo que les dije que no hicieran. Never, 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 never. Mm, <laughs> ay, no. Like kindergarten. Cuando se les dice, no, Dani, esto es lo primero que hacen. Ay, no. Ok. <laughs> ok, continue. Bye. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Ok. Que donde dice name. 
tienen que poner el nombre de la persona que han entrevistado, la víctima. Correcto. La víctima. Uh, estamos con Seiza, Elie, Elie y Sarita. Sí. Sarita. Yes, yo soy Isaac. Ah, sí, va, sí, Isaac? a mencionar. Lo siento. Jonathan, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, cualquiera de los dos, no hay problema. <risa> Okay. Eh, eh, la primera es la que ya nos aparece ahí, ¿verdad? Que sería How often do, do you have meaning? meaning. Sí, pero esa, esa ya no cuenta porque Ajá. ya estaba ahí. Chico. Esa ya estaba ahí. Pero, o sea... Ya estaba ahí, pero para colocar la respuesta de cada uno. No, solo las que usted ha sí. hecho. Para empezar. Digo, sí, yo pero no. está el espacio para poner la respuesta. O sea, la pregunta está, pero hay que colocar la respuesta. No. Dale, dale. Nos eh... dejamos así. Hey. A ver tú. How, how often do you visit client? Uh, once a, a week. Amen. Once a week, una vez a la semana. Number three. How often do you have vacation? How often do you have vacation? Ah, uh, one year. Eh, anually? Sí, anually. Anually. Okay, anually. Uh, anually, perfect. And preferred. Uh, how often do you receive bonus? Eh, monthly. ¿En yo, Francisco? Eh, también, un, no, una vez al año. Sería... Molly. Molly. Ok. Eh, how often do you drive to work? Eh, repeat. How often do you drive to work? Right, right. Okay. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Drive. Ah, manejar, drive, drive. Eh, every day. Okay. Every day. Finish, uh, Alex. Yes, finish. Alexis, okay. And me. Um, how often do you have breakfast at work? Every day. Hey, Alexis. Every day. Every day. Uh, every every day. Yeah. Every day, también. Okay. Thank you. And next. Uh, how often do you call clients? Never. Uh, um, every day. Or daily, diario. Mm, daily. Bien. Daily. And, and Alexis, and... Excuse me. De esta misma, de, de Alexis, no le escuché cuál fue la respuesta. Eh, never. 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 Okay. Um, next, uh, how often do you drink coffee at work? Uh, every day. Every day.
Okay, thank you. And next, how often do you write report? I, I never. Okay, never Alexis and Francisco? Daily. Daily. Okay. And next, um, how often do you leave work early? Como que si llegan temprano al trabajo. ¿Con qué, ¿Con qué frecuencia? No, do you leave, do you leave work? Es salir del work? trabajo. Salir ah, del sí, trabajo. sí, sí, correcto. O irse, sí, sí. irse. ¿Con qué frecuencia irse, se irse. van del trabajo temprano? Ah, correcto, correcto. Tiene razón. <risa> Ajá. Ajá. How do you leave work early? How often do you leave your work early? ¿Con qué frecuencia se, se van temprano del trabajo, niños? Always, sometimes, rarely, never. No, never. Always. Always, Alexis. Se va antes de la hora. And that is why he receives a bonus. <laughs> yes. Always, never, Francisco. <laughs> You wish, okay. ya quisiera, ok, you wish. Las <laughs> tres ya para la casa, en punto. <laughs> yes. I finish. Ok. Perfect. So the group finished. And Francisco, did you interview your classmates? Uh, no, me faltan las mías. Ok, ok, begin, begin, great. Uh, bueno, uh, la, la number one. I often do you have meetings? Uh, once a week. Uh, daily. So uh, probably Alexis says daily, so it means daily or always. Porque yeah. todos los días, always. 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 Okay. Uh, I often do you tell claim? Never. Uh, every day. Every day. Uh, I often do you check email. I a daily. Daily. I I usually. Usually. Yeah. Uh, I often do you write report. I never, never. Y I creo que esta, bueno, ya la había preguntado Alexis, pero I often do you bonus? Um, I'm mo monthly. Monthly. Once, once, once a month or every month? Every month. How, uh, Francisco, the question should be How often do you receive a bonus? How ah, often do you receive? Do you receive a bonus? I receive a bonus. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Hi, right, Phoenix. Okay, great, excellent. And now I think it is time to return to the main session room because I need to take your second attendance. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you for your active participation. Very well. You're working. Thank you. Okay. Okay, get ready, class, because I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. And today I didn't take the picture. I need to take the picture when everybody gets back, okay? I have one, two, three, four, four people still. Okay. The list, teacher. Yeah. Here, I'm going to call your names to take the, the second attendance. Alexis, Brandon, Alexis. 
Ok. Cecilia Eunice, absent. Uh, Daniel Eduardo, Daniel is absent today. Diana Michelle, Diana, absent. Erika Lisset, present, teacher. Thank you, Erika. Fanny, Fanny Melanie, present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Fatima, present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Fatima. Francisco Antonio Coreas, present, Miss. Thank you. Jocelyn, Jocelyn is absent. Francisco Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, Fran. Eliel Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Francisco Mejia, absent. Josué, Josué, are you here? <laughs> Present teacher. Ok. Ajá. Hoy estuvo mejorcito el internet con usted, ¿verdad, Josué? Sí. <laughs> ok, thank you. Oscar Daniel. Oscar. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Pablo. Present teacher. Thanks. Sarita. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Tania. Is Tania here? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Tania. Sarita, Tania, Teresa de Jesus, she lost the connectivity. And Sochil, is Sochil here? Present. Thank you, Miss Sochil. Thank you. Tulio, where are Present, you? Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Tulio. Okay, great. Excellent. Now, class, <clears throat> here we go. Okay, you have been asking and answering how often questions. Now, the activity goes like this, okay? Because tell the rest of the class about the activities that are frequent for your classmates too, for you and your classmates too, okay? Now, I need you to analyze all the answers and you're going to look for a coincidence with the activities that you and your partners do. For example, uh, get to work early. Si todos llegan a trabajar temprano, okay? The other activity that probably you have in common, have a breakfast at work. Or maybe don't have breakfast at work. Ya sea desayunar en el trabajo o no desayunar en el trabajo. Tienen que buscar entre las respuestas que están ahí, las que ustedes y las otras personas a quienes entrevistaron tienen en común la misma o parecida a la respuesta. ¿De acuerdo? Check out. You have one minute to do it. Tienen un minuto para hacerlo, para buscar las coincidencias. Okay, and later you're going to present it here to the class. Y luego lo presentarán acá en el grupo. Ready? Listos, listas. Porque solo es de ver, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que tienen en común con your partners? Ready? Okay, tell me when you are done so we can share. Okay, let's see. Sarita, which are the activities that you and your classmates have in common? ¿Cuáles actividades tiene usted en común con sus compañeros de grupo? De los que trabajaron en, en la entrevista. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, no. Nothing. Está, okay. Francisco. Okay. Francisco y Neve. Francisco. 
which activities do you have in common with your partners? Mm -hmm. the, the time. No le escuchamos. Quizás tiene que acercarse más al micrófono. Lunch time. Ah, oh, only lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Pablo. Our class. Excuse me. Our class. Ah, the class. Solo la clase. Yes. There is nothing. I know. Eliel. <laughs> Uh, nothing. 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 Josué. Josué Isaac. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué es lo que tienen en común de actividades que hacen con sus compañeros de grupo? Con los compañeros oh. que trabajaron en el equipo, la actividad anterior. Uh, uh, more, no, go to the park. You go to the park. Okay, thank you, Alexis. Uh, receive bonus. Okay. Uh, try to work and have vacation. Excellent, have vacation. Si todos tienen vacaciones. Ah, pero como no lo preguntaron, ¿verdad? Francisco Ernesto. Eh, la de, eh, do you bonus? Ah, uh, sí, eh, bonuses. Sí, bonus, sí. Y de great report. Right reports. Excellent. Erika. Um, checks email and cleans cafeteria uh, one at yours. Once. Okay. Clean the cafeteria. Tania. Never teacher. Nothing. 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 Okay. Um, Oscar Portillo. Um, uh, Recite bonus. Receive bonus. Sochi. Thank you. Uh, is a uh, check email, uh, mm -hmm. clean cafeteria, and write reports. Excellent. Diana. Diana Michelle. Ah, you are listening. Fanny. Nothing. Uh, Fatima. All teacher because I work together. Ah, really? What a coincidence. Okay. Everything. Excellent. A uh, hundred percent of matching. Yeah, because you are co-workers. Yes. Great. Excellent. Now, class, um, you are going to work on the following. Okay. Look at this. This is the conversation we began with. And now you are going to recreate it. How come? You're going to say, if I say, okay, with your real information, how often do you check your email? And then you say, always, I always check my email and you, or I never check my, uh, I never check email at work and you, or sometimes and you, or usually and you. Here you are going to use, but with your real information. In my case, I would say always because WhatsApp and email is my communication means with students and with, uh, you know, my coworkers and with my supervisors and with the, with all the administrative staff. And then, well, it says, and you well, and then you give your answer. Well, I check it as often as I can, or I never check it, or hardly ever, y ahí usan el adverbio o la palabra de frecuencia que más se asemeja a la actividad que usted realiza. And how often do you call clients? I never call clients in my case, ¿ya? Yeah? Do you call clients? Y ahí me dice si usted llama a, cl a clientes o no llama a clientes. Y así. Correcto, la van a adecuar a su realidad. Estamos en lo correcto, ¿sí? This is at page 19. Y ya la tienen, ¿verdad? Ya se las compartí. Yes. Mm, let's see. Please. No. Ah, 
Yes. O sea que esa ah. misma conversación la vamos a cambiar de nosotros. De acuerdo a su realidad, sí. La van a hacer personal, ¿verdad? Con sus datos reales, ¿de acuerdo? Con, okay. un, con otro compañero. Sí, claro, porque es conversación. Entonces, ok. Ay, no, ¿qué es esto? Permítanme. Bueno, pero la tienen ahí en su manual, ¿verdad? Yo sí. Yes. yes. Ok, so there is no problem. Tengo la captura, si te gusta que la envíe. Vaya. Ok, perfecto. Perfect. Ok, class, here we go. Bueno, yo envié una captura ahí. Let's go to the breakout rooms and try to build the conversation making the necessary changes when it is necessary. Solo donde sea necesario hacen los cambios y los adecuan a ustedes, ¿ok? Go to your groups, please. Let's do it. Speaking practice. Speaking, speaking. Go to your groups. Julio, go to your group. Tania, go to your group. Okay, Julio, we need you in group number one. Bueno, no sé. Podría ser cambiarle check y email al final. Y ponerle ¿Y WhatsApp. Compartir la imagen. Ah, ahorita te vamos a compartir. And check check to email sería all day alone. Todo el día. Uh -huh. Ah, vamos a ver. Dice si sí, yo all, le llamo a los all day que... long, all day long. All day long. Mm -hmm. Yes. All day long. Okay, yeah, vamos a ver. Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. Sí, esto es también porque siempre le llamamos en la mañana al cliente. Uh -huh. Creo Alecua que sería a nuestro trabajo. Sí. <laughs> Pero sí pertenece a nosotros. So, girls, the four of you belong to the same company. Ustedes cuatro yes. pertenecen. Diana, Sochi, yes, yes. Erika y Fátima. Really? Yes. Partner. Yes, oh, my God. No, what the platform didn't consider that. La plataforma no consideró <laughs> eso. Okay, you belong to that. Okay, it is easier for you then. Excellent. Continue working, please. Okay, okay. thank you, Miss. Okay. My pleasure. That's awful. As I can. And how often do you call your client? I never call them because I I don't work. I know. Yes, I don't work with with clients. And but do you call clients? Never. Uh, okay, so I often call call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check. Pero ahí, ahí ya cambiaste uh -huh. la, la, la respuesta, chiquitín, porque me dijiste que nunca y después siempre ah, le hablo, ¿no? Ah, entonces never, but, uh, 
I never call client. Eh, do you, pero vuelve a preguntar lo mismo. Do you call client? Bueno. Mm, espérame, espérame. Espérame. Volvamos a comenzar porque ya me confundí. Ok. How often okay, do you check yeah, your email? Ok. Uh, I never check my email. <coughs> and you? Ok. Uh, I never. And you? No, no, uh, yo tengo que preguntar. Yo soy John, ¿verdad? Well, yes. I never say. And how often do you call your clients? No, I never, I never call clients. Uh, and you? Do you call clients? No, no, no. Uh, no, I never call. Uh, I believe it's important to have oh. interview with huh? No, es que no, 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 no le hablo aquí. Sí. Ajá, entonces ya se llega. Yes, that's okay. it. That's okay. Uh, Josué Isaac. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Josué Isaac, le voy a pedir que se quede después de la clase conmigo hoy que tiene el, okay, el internet para que practiquemos pronunciación, vale, de acuerdo ok, okay. so uh, I was listening and you did a very good practice and Tania, did Tania have the opportunity to practice with you Eliel and Josué Sí. practicó Tania con ustedes eh, todavía no me tengo con Sarita y Sarita está de oyente Ahí ha escrito oyente. No, ya no. no. Pero es que está practicando ¿Qué? con nosotros. Ah, sí, vaya, pues practiquen, 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 porque ya casi es la hora de irnos. Por eso preguntaba. Ok, comiencen a practicar ya. Ok, Sarita. Empiece. Ok, pues. Uh, check ever um, how often do you check your email I never check email how often do you call your student <coughs> how often do you call your student si a menudo le hablas a tus estudiantes Um, How do you call a student? Um, eh, yes. Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, um, solamente se había creado ahorita, teacher. Okay. Ok, perfecto. Let's return to the main session room then. Entonces retornemos al salón. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, wait for the other partners. There are still some people in the breakout rooms. Let's wait for them. Miss. Yes. Hoy chequeé eh, la, las tareas y sí, tú tenías razón, no me se habían enviado las dos últimas. Hoy Ajá, las terminé. Pero sí, ya, ya, ya verificó que sí se le subieron. Sí. Ajá, sí, lo que sucede es que a veces pasa eso. No nos damos cuenta que tenemos débil el internet 
y quizás muy rápido cerramos y creemos que ya se subió, no, y, es de esperar unos minutitos y verificar que se ha subido. Es que la... Esa vez las estaba haciendo allá en el colegio, ah. entonces, y como estaba con mis datos, mm. y en eso me llamaron y se sí. redió solo. Ah, that is why, pero sí, ya la actualizó, yo le actualizo, no hay problema, ok. Gracias. Don't gracias. be concerned about it, ok. Hey class, listen. Uh, tomorrow we have in our country a national holiday, the Mother's Day. Okay, so tomorrow no classes until the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, pasado mañana. Okay, the day after tomorrow, pasado mañana. So it means on Thursday. Tomorrow no classes, but I need you to continue working on the platform. Pero necesito que continúen trabajando en la plataforma porque ya comenzamos la unidad 2. Es acerca, obviamente, de los frequency adverbs, ¿verdad? Para que sigan practicando y no se les acumule. Eh, Josué se quedará esta noche conmigo. Y para todos los demás, have a beautiful Mother's Day. Enjoy your mother if you still have it alive. Disfruten a su mamá si aún la tienen en vida con sus hijos, si tienen las chicas, niños, ¿verdad? Y, eh, ok, yes, los que están casados, celebrenle a la esposa también, ¿ok? So, Thank have you, a good teacher. Night. Igual a usted, teacher. Thank Feliz you. día de las madres. Happy day, tomorrow. See you the day after tomorrow. Have a, thank you. Have a good night. Okay, good night, bye -bye. Good night. Que tengan buen día. Thank you. Likewise, the same. Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Josué. Josué, knock, knock. Okay. Okay, okay Josué. Here we go. Now we're going to practice, okay? Speaking. Well, the, Speaking. The, 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 okay, the... bye. Acá. Okay. Usted me escucha primero, ok? Usted me escucha primero y luego vamos a practicar. How often, how often do you check your email every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I use, but I, esta T se convierte como en una R cuando la unimos a la I, but I, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Entonces, uh, Josué, comenzamos. Ya le digo, permítame acá. Okay. Comenzamos, Josué. A ustedes, okay. John, y yo soy Anne. One, two, three. Begin. Okay. How often do you check your email? Email. Email. Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check, check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call call them first thing in the morning mm. uh, yes. I, be, I, be, yeah. I believe I believe I believe it it is important to have contact with them all the time you're right now we switch I am John and you continue reading How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often 
call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always uh, call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Excellent. Repeat after me. Email. Email. Very well. Email. Email. Okay. So here. Okay. Now this conversation. We have Ben, okay. Jeff, and Mario. I am going to be. Ben and Mario, you are going to read Jeff. Pero primero escucha a la teacher, okay? Jeff, okay. how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week did you work? Well, Ben, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays. And sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, so I read Ben and Mario. You read Jeff. I begin. Jeff. How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, hey Ben. I work five days a week. And you? Uh, that's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, now we switch. You are Ben and Mario and I am Jeff. Okay, you begin. Yes. How are you doing? Okay. Aquí ya se me está ya se me está congelando. Voy a quitar ah, el video también. Okay, muy bien. Bye. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And two? That's great. I work four weekdays. And sometimes uh, on Saturdays. Mm, really? On Saturdays? Do you work uh, extra hours? And how much do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is that much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Excellent. Very well. Now let's move to the next conversation. <clears throat> Ruth and Josh. First, listen to the teacher. Yes. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? How about you? How about you? Me okay. too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? 
I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Now I am Ruth and you are Josh. Hey, Josh, I have a question. Hey, and your name is Joshua by a coincidence. Okay, por coincidencia, casualidad, su nombre es Josué, Joshua. y acá tenemos Josh, is the short form for Joshua, Josué en inglés, okay. Hey, Josh. Oh, yes, that's it, it is the okay. nickname. Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, okay. I have a question for you. Do you have uh, pay vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20, 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses, bonuses, bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you and how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than uh, $600. $600. Okay, very well. Now let's switch. Uh, you begin and I continue. Hey, Josh, you tell me. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses did you have per year? Okay. I, have, I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay, very well. Go here. Let's see the other. Okay, here, Sonia in mass. <clears throat> Listen to the teacher. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Now I am Sonia and you are Mass. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types, reports, and sends email every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Now let's switch. You begin. Uh, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office, okay? And Josue, did you begin to work in the platform? Ya comenzó a trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, no Bien. lo pude iniciar. A eso le iba a preguntar que si me podía dar el, el link. Y ahora, ahora voy a empezar. Eh, yo le voy a pasar el link, de, permítame, quiero ver si no se los han compartido ahora. Porque ahora me parece que les compartieron, porque como es un link como estudiante, ¿verdad? Pero permítanme, sí. vamos a ver. Y, um, 
Veamos. Al principio tal vez los compartiera. Quiero ver acá. No, no les compartieron el link. En su correo debieron habérselo. Eh, uh -huh. Otra seña, permítame. Uh -huh. Mire, acá está el link de WhatsApp. Está la lista de reproducción de YouTube. Cómo activar su usuario en la plataforma. Y acá en WhatsApp, está en WhatsApp. Sí. Ahí mismo uh -huh. le voy a compartir. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿De ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, vale. Sí. Entonces le voy a compartir todo ese mensaje. Copiar. Y eh, la contraseña es de 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ¿verdad? 5, sí. Sin espacio. Vaya, okay. verifique en este momento. Le acabo de compartir el mensaje. Y ahí hace clic en el azulito donde dice leer más y ahí va a encontrar el link. Pero escribe su correo con cuidadito, ¿verdad? Porque si no lo va a bloquear. De forma tal que no se equivoque. El correo que tiene registrado con inglés corporativo, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí le llegó el mensaje de WhatsApp? Sí. Vaya, muy bien. Entonces, en lo azulito, donde dice leer más, haga clic ahí. Y ahí baja y encuentra sí, cómo, sí. Ajá, cómo, vaya, muy bien, cómo activar tu usuario en la plataforma. Nota, al ingresar con su correo, el que brindó a la institución de inglés corporativo e ingresar la contraseña que le dan ahí, ¿verdad? Y luego ahí tiene el enlace a la plataforma, ¿sí? Ve ahí todos esos enlaces, cómo registrar tu usuario, sí. el enlace a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y importantes pasos a seguir antes de iniciar el buen curso, ahí está. Sí, entonces ahí los tiene, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Bye. Claro. Y entonces empieza a trabajar. Ok, bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you for giving me your time. Gracias por los minutos, sí. See you Thursday. Nos vemos el jueves y a meterle a la plataforma. Have a good night. Bye bye. Happy Mother's Day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ok, you too. Bye. Gracias.